All right, now we are going to actually start coding our uh, web application. All right, so in this video, I am assuming you are using uh, Rails 4.2 and Ruby 2.1.5. Uh, you can check what version you have by going uh, uh, Rails-V. I have Rails 4.2.0 and Ruby-V. I have Ruby 2.1.5 patch 273. So from here, I'm going to CD into my coding directory. And then inside of here, I'm going to create our new Rails application. So I'll do Rails new blog. Hit enter, and then this will create all of the Rails files for us. Then after that is complete, uh, CD into that new blog directory. If you do an LS, you can see all of the uh, directories it created for us. Uh, first thing I want to do here is do git init to initialize a empty git repository. And then if you do git status, you can see all the untracked files, uh, every file that has been created thus far. Uh, let's do a git add dot. If I do a git s, you can see all of those files were added. Now let's do a git commit uh, dash am and let's say initial commit. All right, let's go ahead and push this up to GitHub. Um, if you go to github.com, uh, if you haven't already, I definitely recommend uh, creating a GitHub account. It is free for uh, open source code. So as long as you don't want private repository, it is free to use. So after you've done, after you've gone ahead and signed up, go to your uh, profile and repository. And I am going to create a new repository and call this blog course, and I'll say demo. You can call yours whatever you'd like, and let's uh, create a repository. So this takes you to the setup page. We already have a existing application, so all we need to do is uh, git remote add origin and then the file to this uh, GitHub uh, page. So let's copy that and paste it in. Now all we need to do is git push dash u origin master, git push dash u origin master. All right, now if we go back and click on the blog course demo repository, you'll see the initial commit that we just made um, is already up here. All right, and one last thing I want to do, let's uh, update the readme. So I'm going to, actually let's go to the terminal and do, uh, let's do mv readme.rdoc to readme and let's do md. Now, I believe if I go, let's uh, open up this in Sublime. Right, and let's open up the readme.md. So what that uh, command did is uh, it changed the file name from readme.rdoc to readme.md. All right, so I'm going to go back to our planning uh, page and I'm just going to copy all of this in. And since it's marked down, we don't need to change anything. Uh, so I'm just gonna save that. Let's go back and do a git status. So it deleted uh, the readme.rdoc and it created the readme.md. So it didn't actually change it. It deleted a file and created a new one. So what I will do is git add dot, git commit dash am, whoops, git commit dash am with the message um, updated readme. Now let's do a git push. And if we go back to GitHub and refresh, the planning our application um, is now there. Awesome. So in the next video, we are going to uh, create articles for our Rails application.